Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this Hello my loves, hello, hello from everywhere in the world my name is Gabrielle Reyes, a.k.a. One Great Vegan. One Great Vegan. And welcome into my musical live cooking class going on here right now, Saturday at 1 p.m. CST. So today, y'all, we are going to be making a fierce, fabulous cocoa cacao rich recipe with pumpkin spice in there as well and we're going to be using cacao bliss which is a fierce wonderful supplement that you can add into any of your desserts and some of your savory meals as well so we're going to be putting this into our waffles and then we put it over some fabulous fierce toppings as well but before we get going and before we get glowing y'all know what we got to do right Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before you get to cooking. Before you get to cooking, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands before. recipe as well because you're gonna have to sprinkle over some fun toppings so chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss taste so sweet you want a piece of this all right let's get going and let's get glowing with this fabulous fun recipe my loves first thing you want to do is make sure you got yourself a waffle iron or if you don't have a waffle, you can make this into pancakes as well. This batter kind of goes both ways. But make sure your waffle iron is nice and hot. You see all that steam coming from it. And all you have to do is make your dry mix, your wet mix, blend it together. Dry mix, wet mix, blend it together. Just got to blend that baby together. And then we're going to put it into our waffle maker. Add on some fun decorations. It's going to be fierce. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be so delicious, my loves. The first thing you're going to need right here is some gluten-free flour. I have about two cups in here because I'm going to be making a lot of waffles today. I'm actually kind of double laying the batter that I typically make with this recipe. But that's okay and that's all right. Get yourself a big bowl, get some gluten-free flour in there, one to two cups, depending on however much you're making for your family and your friends today. And then get yourself some cacao bliss. This is going to be that chocolatey flavor that we're going to need in there. And I'm adding in about one-fourth cup to one-third cup. Honestly, it's however chocolatey you want it. And not only does this have cacao in it, my loves, this also has turmeric, MCT oil, lacuma, and four, yes, my loves, four superfoods. And the superfoods in here are cinnamon, which y'all know I'm obsessed with, Himalayan sea salt, which... Uh, how often do I use Himalayan salt in everything? I literally have some right here. I sprinkle it into everything. Mesquite, black pepper. Ooh, black pepper gonna add a nice little zinginess to this dessert situation we got going on, my loves. So I'm adding in about one third cup of that cacao bliss. And it's gonna give it that nice, rich chocolate flavor that we need. Okay, and then get yourself some baking powder. You only need about one to one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Just gonna help it get nice and fluffy. So, now that you have all of your dry ingredients in your bowl, you're just gonna wanna whisk this up so everything is mixed together and you're gonna be able to see all that cocoa chocolate Cacao bliss, cacao bliss, mix it in. Cacao bliss, mix it in. We're gonna mix in 
the cacao bliss along with that gluten-free flour and our baking powder as well. So once everything is incorporated in your dry mixture, sit that on over to the side and we're gonna work on our wet mixture. So I told y'all this is gonna be chocolate pumpkin waffles. So we already got our chocolate extra bit going on right there. Now we gotta add in that pumpkin. And what I found with this recipe is that you don't wanna add in too much of your pumpkin puree or it gets nice and soggy. And I personally, I don't like a soggy waffle. I'm more of a crispy waffle kind of girl, and I'm sure you are too. So I'm gonna be adding in just the same amount of pumpkin puree that I would use if I was using eggs. But since I'm vegan, and since y'all are vegan, y'all are all one great vegans. And so today, instead of eggs, we're gonna be using some pumpkin puree. I'm gonna be adding in about one to two tablespoons of our pumpkin puree in our liquid wet batter bowl. Wet batter bowl. Wet batter bowl. Add in your plant milk. Next thing I'm gonna be adding in is our plant-based milk. I'm using coconut milk today. You can also use water, but I like that plant-based milk because I think it makes it fluffier, richer, and just tastes better anyways. I'm gonna be adding in about one cup of my plant-based milk. You don't want this batter to be too wet, specifically since you're gonna be using that gluten-free flour. What I've found is if your batter is too wet, it gets that stickiness that you don't like when you bite into gluten-free food. So to make sure it ain't gonna be like that, you're gonna wanna add in less liquids than you would normally with a gluten-full batter, if you will. All right, so we've got our milk, we have our pumpkin puree, which is gonna act like our eggs, and the next thing I want y'all to add in here is our sweetener, which today we're gonna be using maple syrup. Maple syrup. Add in that maple syrup. Y'all know I'm obsessed with her. I'm adding in about three to four tablespoons because I want these to be nice and sweet, okay? I love a sweet waffle. You can make them less sweet if you really want to, or you actually don't have to use maple syrup at all. Sometimes people leave the maple syrup out, or sometimes people be going in with the regular sugar. I suggest if you are gonna use sugar, make sure to use organic sugar so it doesn't have any ground up bugs in it, which a lot of normal sugars do. So. Just to be safe, we're gonna be using some maple syrup. Okay, so we have our wet ingredients in here, my love. The next thing I wanna pop in here is of course that seasoning and spice I love to add into all of my desserts. Let's add in a splash of vanilla extract. Boop! And just gonna bring out all of those flavors that we need. And the last thing I want to, and this is 100% optional, if you got it, if you don't got it, that's okay and that's all right. Use whatever you got. Use whatever spices you got. And what's fierce is actually with this cacao bliss, it already got that cinnamon and that salt and that turmeric in there. So you don't need to be adding in any extra spices. But today, y'all, because your girl is mad extra, I'm gonna be adding in some pumpkin spice. Just a little splash of it. And when I say a little splash, I mean actually about one teaspoon of your pumpkin spice. All right, now that we have all of our liquids and our seasoning in the bowl, I'm gonna wanna give this a good little whisk it up, whisk it up, whisk it up, whisk that wet batter up, whisk it up, whisk that wet batter up. Okay, we got a nice little song situation today my loves so now you're gonna want to pour your wet batter into your dry batter and if you need to you can add an extra water or plant-based milk but remember you want this batter to be pretty thick because it's gonna get nice and fluffy in our iron so it looks like I need to add in just a little bit more of my coconut milk Pour that on in. I always like to keep a little extra on the side just in case I gotta add in more of that coconut milk. So we're gonna whisk this all around until it's the texture that I want it to be, my loves. Sometimes with these whisks, you gotta open them up, get out all of that filling in there. Boom, come on out, girl. 
oh, I can smell that cacao in there. What's fierce about using the cacao instead of using cocoa flour or cocoa powder, the cacao is just rich, y'all. Like I said, it has that turmeric in there. It's got that cinnamon, that Himalayan salt, that MCT oil, which I know a ton of athletes enjoy to use to help them stay energized. So let's see how we feel after these energizing waffles, my loves. Okay, so it looks like our batter is pretty good. That's a nice, good thickness I want because it's gonna get nice and fluffy for me. All right, get as much batter out of your whisk as possible. And now it's time to cook chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. Whoa, whoa. All right, so that you can have a piece of this, let's go in with a little bit of some oil. Spray down your waffle, or if you're not using a waffle maker, if you are using a pan, make sure to spray down some oil so it doesn't get everywhere. All right, so I have this on the highest heat because I already know with these gluten-free waffles, you wanna make sure that they get nice and crispy. So I'm gonna grab some of my batter, Pop it into the middle. Come on out, girl, there you go. Pop her into the middle of our waffle maker. Ooh. And sometimes I like to spread it out just to make sure that she gets filled into all of those spaces. Just like that. Chocolate pumpkin waffles, let's cook them up. Chocolate pumpkin waffles, let's cook them up. I think I'm gonna actually add just a little bit more because I want these to be fully formed, circular waffles. You know what I'm saying? I want these to be the creme de la creme of chocolate pumpkin waffles, okay? All right, I think that should be good. We'll have some extra batter because we'll do some more. All right, so depending on whatever kind of waffle maker you have, this one you flip and it's gonna tell me whenever she is ready to go, grow, and glow, my loves. Okay, so these are gonna be start cooking on up. Let me double check to make sure, yep, it's on the highest heat, and it's gonna start to steam, and then we'll take them out, and they'll be nice and fluffy. So while we're doing that, and we're letting those cook on up, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna work on my maple syrup mixture. So what I have here, just whatever extra maple syrup you have, get out your pumpkin spice seasoning, that same one that you might have used on your waffle mixture, and add in about one half tablespoon. And then I'm gonna also add in just a splash of vanilla because I love vanilla in everything, including my maple spice, wonderful, everything, nice spread that I'm gonna be putting on top of everything. And then just get yourself a fork and you're gonna wanna whisk this on up. Sometimes the powder on top she doesn't like to go into the maple syrup, but that's okay. We're gonna give her a good whisk until she's all seasoned and spiced. Ooh, I can smell that vanilla in there as well, my loves. We're gonna be making this maple spice, pumpkin spice maple dripping sauce. Ooh, dripping sauce! That sounds better than dipping sauce. Let's taste her. Mm. Ooh! You know what? I think I can even add a little bit more of my pumpkin spice. Mm. My favorite thing about pumpkin spice has to be that clove in there because it's always balanced out the perfect way. If you want to make your own pumpkin spice also, let's say you don't ha have pumpkin spice right there ready to go. You're going to need some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some clove, and some ginger, and then I would say some salt or some orange peel as well is always good. And all space, all space, <laughs> all space, that would be cool, all spice is so good in it as well. So make sure that you got all those seasonings and spices in there, and that's gonna make it nice and warm and rich. <gasps> Just like y'all can see, this is cooking down. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. Chocolate pumpkin waffles, delish. Whoa, 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 chocolate.
piece of this. In fact, you may want the entire waffle, okay? I've already eaten like three waffles because I was testing out my batter this morning, y'all. And I was shooting a fun recipe video just for this exact same recipe y'all are seeing today. So we've already made our fabulous spiced, blessed maple syrup situation. And we've already incorporated our cacao bliss. Now the next thing I want to show y'all is we have all these fun toppings we're gonna put on here. I'm gonna add on some crushed walnut seeds. I also have some pumpkin seeds. Can I just call these walnut seeds? These are walnut nuts. Walnuts, not seeds. But if you are allergic to nuts, you don't gotta use walnuts. You could just use the pumpkin seeds and the pepitas, as well as the, let's see, I have some dried persimmon right here. And then I think I'm gonna add on some vegan chocolate chips just to make it even more chocolate pumpkin-y. Woo! All right, y'all, so while this is all cooking on down, I'm gonna go get my beloved best friend, Ace Anderson. He's gonna take some photos for us. And that way, y'all, you get to watch this cook on up. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, my love. I'm ready for you, baby. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. Okay, let's see how she's doing. She may need a little bit more cooking. <gasps> she is so cute. She is beautiful and she is fluffy and fierce, my loves. Look at this wonderful friend we have here. I know I have a plate somewhere, but I'm gonna show y'all how she looking. Look at this. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. All right, I'm definitely gonna make another one because I want these to be stacked up high. It also looks like I missed a little section in that one, but that's okay and that's all right because we're gonna cook this up real quick. Boom, just like that. And then let's add in some of this batter up in here. These are really juicy waffles, y'all. Check it out, check it out. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. All right, in goes our second waffle. Look how delicious these look, my love. Check it out, check it out. I'm gonna turn it around. So y'all, like I was saying, you can see that there's a nice dark chocolatey color in there. And also that pumpkin puree went on in. It's gonna add in a nice little bit of spice and ooh, she already smells so freaking delicious. Ooh, look at that. I got my best friend, beloved Ace Anderson. He's gonna take some photos, yes! Ooh, and look, we can use this too in the photo. Come on now. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, love it. Perfect. Mm, y'all, this is so delicious. Also, you can blend this into your smoothies. Y'all probably saw that I made my cocoa or cocoa cookie dough truffles. Y'all saw I made that recipe as well. So check it out, check it out. So I'm cooking one more of these waffles. And once she's out here, y'all, we're gonna be able to decorate her with all my fun toppings. So I wanted to tell y'all a little bit more about this cacao bliss blessing that I got in my life. Number one, if you wanna get 15% off of your order of cacao bliss, you can use the promo code one great big game. And yes, you do have to sing the promo code. <laughs> no, you don't have to sing the promo code. Actually, you gotta type it in with full caps letters. Type in one great vegan, O-N-E, G-R-E-A-T, V-E-G-A-N. Type in one great vegan and you will be able to save 15% off your order of cacao bliss and what's also fabulous about this my loves they sent me this whole little recipe book 
full of fun recipes. This is where I got the original recipe of this. This is also where I got my cold, cold cookie dough truffle. See, check it out. There they got waffles. <gasps> they have parfaits in here. Y'all, check out these chocolate chip pancakes stacked, loaded. I mean, definitely the next one I'm gonna have to do is that chocolate mug cake. Y'all know I love a good chocolate cake situation, my love. So I'm excited to use this. And also look at this cute little box it came into. They packaged it right, y'all. I see you, Earth Echo. Ooh, I see you. Years. All right, so I think it may be time to check in on our waffle, my loves. Let's see how she's doing. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. All right, let's see how she's doing. Ooh, look at her. She is so cute. All right, I'm gonna cook her just a little bit longer because I want her nice and crispy, just like my girl over here. All right, well, since she's already cooking down, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna incorporate my sauce on this level as well. So y'all saw I made that pumpkin spice maple syrup, a little bit of splash of vanilla in there. If you wanna put some salt in there too, that might be delicious too. And I'm going to just pour on over a little bit, oh yes, that maple syrup. Ah, ha, ha. She's cute, I'll get it for you again so my baby can get a beautiful photo. There she is, oh, yes. So yummy, ooh, ooh, she smells so decadent. I think I'm gonna put some vegan butter on this too. So the other things I was talking to y'all about that I'm gonna be adding on, I have some walnuts here that I'm gonna crush on up and let this sprinkle on over. I like to have just different levels of hardiness, just all kinds of things going on in my waffle because it's gonna be decadent. You know what I'm saying? If we're gonna make waffles, let's go in with our waffles. And so far, so good. She is so cute. Ooh, I think this waffle may be ready, y'all. Okay, it's time. Chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss. Taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. Whoa, oh yeah, she is nice and ooh, hot and crispy, my loves. But look at this decadent layer of goodness. Yeah, baby, get on in there, get on in there, see what's going on. All right, let's add on that maple mixture I was talking to y'all about. All right, I'm gonna put this right here so I get nice placed on up. Y'all see these? Look at these! Chocolate pumpkin waffles. All right. <gasps> Look at this. The drizzle. Y'all, this is pumpkin spice infused maple syrup. Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am drooling because guess what? I get to eat all this Hey. All right, let's get our other things that we're gonna put on top of here. I have some pumpkin seeds as well. Let's see if I, what do you think? Do you think I can hold you can hold this for me real quick, baby? Come on in, baby. Hold this for mama real quick so mama can get out her pumpkin seeds. <gasps> I love adding pepitas or pumpkin seeds to any kind of pumpkin-y thing. Y'all, look at this. Ah yeah. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. That's okay, because look how beautiful she is with all those pumpkin seeds. All right, the other things I want to add in here, I added in some walnuts to my bottom layer, but I'm going to have to add in some walnuts to that top layer as well. Yes. Oh, y'all, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. Because it's going to be so freaking delicious. All right, I also have a little bit of powdered sugar. Boom, 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 boom. A powder sugar, a powder sugar. Oh, wow, y'all, y'all ain't ready. Y'all are not ready for this decadence. Okay, I'm also gonna be adding in some dried persimmons because I love that orange color that it brings to any kind of pumpkin spice dessert. Y'all, pumpkin spice and chocolate chips. Pumpkin spice and chocolate chips. All right, y'all, check it out. 
this is so decadent, delicious, delightful, lovely, fabulous. And guess what, y'all? It's gluten-free, it's soy-free, it's vegan, yeah, yeah, and, and it could be nut-free too if you just leave off those walnuts, my loves. So check it out, chocolate pumpkin waffles with cacao bliss, taste so sweet, you want a piece of this. My loves, I had so much fun creating this wonderful, decadent, bountiful, oh, I'm so ready to dig in if you cannot tell. I will see you all next Saturday here live in my cooking class. And don't forget to use the promo code one great vegan for 15% off this fabulous cacao bliss, my loves. I will see you all next Saturday. And don't forget, at the end of the day, sing your song, do your dance, and speak your truth. Goodbye, my loves. 